Hey, what's up, everybody? It's a Saturday night. Hope everyone's having an awesome weekend, enjoying it with your family, your loved ones, whatever, having a couple of champagnes and beers, Miller High Life. Cheers. Anyway, a lot of thank yous for today. Number one, Diana, love you. Thank you for sharing this on Facebook and the kind words of encouragement. Mike, as always, dude, I'm going to thank you every friggin' episode. Can't thank you enough. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be doing this damn thing. Uh, so I appreciate it, and I love you. Randy, again, Danny, Minor, everybody else. John, John's up in Wisconsin, and that's a uh, pretty awesome state, which he and I have discussed. Uh, everybody, Nick, uh, Jason, everybody that has given me some kind words of encouragement, subscribe to the channel, everything. Um, I really appreciate all you guys, and uh, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. This is fun for me, and from what y'all have been telling me, this is you, you guys are having fun watching it. So, you know, but like I said, uh, Friday, yesterday, <laughs> uh, I can't do Metallica every single time. I would love to. They're my favorite band. I own a crap ton of Metallica stuff. Uh, but we're going to cover some other bands, and today is one of those other bands. We're going to do Megadeth today. This is my Megadeth collection. Um, excuse me. Everything I own, uh, Megadeth wise and vinyl. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the CDs and DVDs and VHSs, live bootlegs. We're just gonna do vinyl today uh, because there's kind of something I want to focus on. Uh, so the first one is my favorite Megadeth record. Controversial because it is probably not even their top five best record, but this is my favorite record because Into the Lungs of Hell. Instrumental for a song going into Set the World of Fire is probably my favorite all-time best one-two punch of a record. And then includes Battery and Master Puppets off Master Puppets. Uh, I love this record. So far, so good, so what? Released in uh, January 19th, 1988. Which for years, dude, I thought this was making a second record because it sounds like a second record. It's produced like it's a second record. Whatever. It's not. It's a third record. Anyway... This is a reissue, it's brand spanking new, but Megadeth is always awesome with the liner notes. It's a picture of the fellas, the lyrics, all the songs. Capital Records, standard, standard label, nothing special. Uh, let's get the phone uh, glare off that. Anyway, nothing special. I don't have the original, which I'm working on getting an original version of this record. Don't have it quite yet, um, but. It's going to happen pretty soon. I feel it. So, anyway, the second Megadeth record is my all-time favorite Megadeth, like, uh, not record, but release. It's my favorite Megadeth artwork for album, not logo, but artwork. So this is the No More Mr. Nice Guy single from the motion picture Shocker. Some of y'all old folks like myself might remember this. Some of y'all might, but it's pretty badass. It's, like, it's coming out of the... Uh, Toxic Waste with the dudes in the suits, like like nuclear guys. Anyway, this thing came out in January of 1990. Now, what's awesome about this record, this is not like a sleeve. The entire package is a poster. So you got a 12-inch vinyl. This thing's 36 by 24. So let's check this out. I don't even know who the B-sides are. They're not something negative. Check that out, dude. That's badass poster. Let's move it down, put it up. Badass. Backside, boom. Track listing, everything, so it's kind of, you can see how it folds. That's pretty cool in my book. The vinyl's nothing special. Just black vinyl, nothing, nothing to write home about. Like I said, don't even really give a rat's ass about the B-sides. I know it's dangerous toys and somebody else, I really don't care. No more Mr. Nice Guy's Alice Cooper cover song is badass. Sounds awesome when Megadeth does it, especially the beating riff, uh, which Dave kicks ass doing. Heard he was massive, like a massive heroin addict on this uh, record, song, uh, the video. Heard some rumors about that on the behind the music, but whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna hold it against him. Shit happens, but that's a badass record. He was still kicking ass and writing great songs. So the next one, another reissue, and we're, this is where this episode kind of gets interesting. Megadeth. Peace sells, but who's freaking buying? I am. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Again, 
Megadeth liner notes. Totally gnarly. Here's why we're buying this freaking thing, though. Spending 40 bucks to buy this thing, right? Because y'all, dude, it's purple. Now, you might not be able to see it as well as I'd like you to on this video channel. Dude, it's purple. The artwork on the original album has got a lot of purple in it. And the vinyl is purple. There we go. Boom. Check out. You can see there's like a lot of like kind of purple t tones in this thing. The vinyl's purple. So the next one. Rust in Peace. Probably the best ever Megadeth album. One of the best ever thrash albums, heavy metal albums of all time. Right up there with Master Puppets, Rain of Blood. This is a masterpiece. Badass blue, yellow logos. Oh, oh, you mentioned the blue and yellow logos and stuff. That's an awesome picture. This is the classic Megadeth lineup. The best lineup of the band's history. Check it out, y'all. Pull it out. Boom, we got badass yellow lino notes with the lyrics. There's the guys. Like I said, classic lineup. If that ain't an 80s thrash metal band, I don't know what it is. Even though this album was released in 1990, so it's kind of not 80s, but you know what I mean. Came out September 24th, 1990. But check it out, dudes. It's blue. Hell shit and yeah. When I saw Dave Mustaine on Instagram be like, yo, go to this website. We got this record in blue. We got this other record in purple. I was like, take my fucking debit card right now, Dave. I am buying that shit. Metalheads, we wear black constantly. Black shirt. Freaking black pants. Socks. Black boots. Hell, even my damn Hanes underwear is black. But you show me some pretty colored vinyl, I'm buying the hell out of that. Swipe the debit. Boom. Swipe it. Here's my pin. Here's the pin. Awesome. Case in point, last record we're going to talk about. The last item in my Megadeth vinyl collection. It's a damn single. The thread is real off the album Dystopia. Dystopia came out November 27th, 2015. This one's white, y'all. Didn't even know this came in white. And when I found out, you goddamn best believe it. I bought the shit out of this. White vinyl is badass. Anyone who says otherwise is probably fucking stupid. Anyway, I've cussed way too much on this episode. I've also drank way too many beers today. So, hope you all enjoyed that one. Got a little carried away there, I think. A little too enthusiastic. Whatever, I don't give a shit. I love this stuff. Going to a record store next weekend. I'm going to be buying a bunch of good stuff. I've already been looking at the catalog the guy's got in shop. It's going to be some really good uh, original releases. So we'll definitely be putting some videos out of, of those. You know what band it's going to be. Anyway, I appreciate everybody. All the kind words, like I said. All the support and encouragement. It means a whole lot to me, y'all. And I uh, hope you dig this episode. And colored vinyl is awesome. So buy it. Peace, y'all.